One of the things which I see people are confused about is the difference between the databases, data warehouse, and data lake. And first of all, it's like super common. There is so many people who are confused. And secondly, this is not surprising. There is so many fancy words and terms nowadays, like a lake house or data intelligent platform. Unfortunately, the world of data is becoming increasingly complex. And in order to understanding those more advanced terms, we need to have a good, solid understanding of the basic one. Fortunately, today we are going to explain exactly those basic ones using as simple words and some drawings as possible. And if you will, if you will still have some questions, use, just use the comment section below. We will answer all of that. Before we will jump on it, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps YouTube to figure out the value of the channel. The rise of the database was something around 1960. It was a moment in time when companies started to implement more and more IT applications like the ERP, in Enterprise Resource Planning, or some sales applications like a CRM. And at that time, those applications started slowly, but they started to proceed more and more data, more and more transactions. They needed to have something what was called a database and represented by this kind of icon. I'm sure that everyone has seen it. And at that moment of time, usually every single application had their own database. Very, it could be very different. Sometimes it was very exotic. The common part of those applications, many of those databases, was that you could that you were able to query most of that using a language which was called SQL. Although some of them started to support the other language, which was called not only SQL. Anyway, moving forward, the situation which we had in the company is that more applications, more different databases were implemented in the companies and at the end creating the situation that people in the company responsible for making the analytics about the performance of the company or different KPIs, they started to have increasingly difficult job. They were not able anymore by themselves go to all of that data and collect all needed information. And that was a rise of something what nowadays we recognize as a data warehouses. It was around 19 80 wonderful times where many powerful companies has been created like the Oracle. Everyone knows Oracle, super rich company. Basically, the idea was very simple. Instead of having those dozens or hundreds decentralized databases, they are fine. But maybe on the top of that, we need to have a single place of truth, single place in the company where you can go and figure out what is happening, what's the performance of the company. We need to have a data warehouse, big centralized database specialized in storing significant number of the data which would be delivered to the data warehouse using the process called ETL export transport load it was also a moment where the role, role data engineer has been born people specializing in extracting the data transforming and bringing data to the data warehouse and later on storing it in the user friendly way in something what is called data model like a star schema allowing end user the business users quick and easy access to the data for all sort of the business intelligence no matter if they were if they were after just a report or they were after some more advanced business intelligence but the times moves on we started to have something new something that was not existing before we started to have internet and with the internet we started to have a massive number of the users generating the massive number of the data basically creating what was called of course big data and then we started to have other things. We started to have the IoT, Internet of Things. And we also started to have a different form of data. Suddenly we started to got this massive volume of the documents, emails, the internet page content or the images. And nobody before thought about keeping those data. Suddenly the situation is that you have your data warehouse, which is perfectly addressing the need of the corporate reporting and analytics but at the same time you start to get all of that data on which you can capitalize you believe that by analyzing this data you can extract a lot of value but just data warehouse is not prepared to do that and in around 2000 2000 plus some big companies including google or yahoo they came up with the concept of something what is called data lake which was a completely new set of the technologies and completely new approach 
it could be in the cloud or on premise but basically they decided that no 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 instead of keeping the data in the tables in the database we need to do step back we need to find a way of keeping the data in the regular files maybe in different formats like parquet or avro but in the files and the reason for that is that paying for storage is way cheaper than paying for the CPU. So they came Hadoop and on the top of that, they came up with the completely new set of the tools allowing people to analyze data. I will name just few like Apache Spark, which is based nowadays of the Databricks, Kafka, MapReduce, Hive, and many more, basically allowing people having those advanced use cases like a data scientist, machine learning algorithm experts utilizing those tools to query the data being located in the flat files and come up with the new use cases, something going beyond of the data warehouse. And at the beginning, the idea was the data lake will replace a data warehouse. The reality was a bit different. The reality was solution is different, depends on the need. Whenever our company, company have a need of having some transactional application, those applications will typically need a databases like a Postgre, PostgreSQL or MySQL. Whenever a company needs to have a central repository of, of the data, which it can, which it can trust based on which they can establish the, the global reporting, for instance, for the stock exchange purposes, they need to have something more robust, something what provides a mechanism for the data governance and data management, like a data warehouse. And whenever a company want to benefit from the big data, unusual type of the data, maybe they want to do some machine learning or data science things. This is where company typically needs to go for the data lake technologies. And this requires completely different set of the skills and tools. And that's it. Those were three main terms, databases, data warehouse and data lakes. If you have further questions, just use the comment section below or maybe you want to tell me how terrible job I do or how a wonderful job I do. No matter what's your opinion, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because in the next video, I'm going to show you data intelligence platform from Databricks. Cheers.